Ecclesiastes 6, 8:1 to the end for the word immersion. Please, I need us to be very calm uh, because God talks to us during the word immersion. Whenever you open up the Bible, it's God talking to you. And we have one Bible verse today, one Bible chapter, but God, God can actually say, give us like 15 messages based on what we're going through. So I need everybody to please be calm. Be sure the door is locked and there's nobody walking around to distract you. And then you read to hear God. It's through the Bible reading. That's why we're doing the word immersion. So if you're done reading, I want you to close your eye and meditate. Think about what you read. As you start thinking, God will start speaking to you. So I'm giving one more minute for those of us that are still um, trying to soak it in. Use it. So when you're, when you're watching the video, I need you to pay attention, okay? There are two major homework, two major Bible verses that you're going to read. When I was in Form 2, seven people, seven people ganged up against me when I was in GS2. Seven people in the, ganged up against me. True life story. Seven people. And I know, has there, is there anybody here that people have ever ganged up against you in school? People have ever ganged up against you, like a clique of people and they ganged up against you. And, uh, yes. I can never forget my experience because, I mean, it, I, if not that I was a bold person, I wanted to leave the school then when I was in Form 2. So these are some of the things we're going to be seeing in the class session video. When people gang up against you, what happens? When people gang up against you, what happens? Something else we're going to see is relationship. Relationship is very important. The kind of friends you keep will determine how far you're going to go in life. You're going to be seeing it in the class video. Let me tell you something that I do, and I'm, I'm being honest. When I come to you, and maybe we just maybe I went, I went to a gathering or somewhere or something where we have to spend some days. Do you know how I pick my friends? When I stay with you and we talk, I'm not, I won't lie to you. After 15 minutes, I will decide whether you're going to be my friend or not. Once I hear you speak, there's a point that when you talk to them, it's as if there's nothing in their head. The friends you make, remember, we, we determine the course of your life. Some of us, our friends end up getting us into trouble. The thing is that you know. So if you don't plan your life towards relationship, then part of what you're going to do today, when you sit down and after watching the class video, I want you to take just, and I want you to write it down in your journal. Remember, I grade your, what, I'm going to grade this particular journal, this particular class, I'm going to grade it myself. Write down like 10 of your closest friends. I mean like, you're going to say very strong, not very strong, just friends. I want you to write down the names of your close friends. Then the value they add, the value they add to your life. You're going to say this person has 70% value. You're going to say this person puts me in trouble. This person is just there. I need to see it written. Because if you don't take your time to break these things down, you're just going to be hearing this thing, oh, God said, God said. No, you have to apply the Bible. What happened? Who are the people that add value to your life? Do you know you could have a friend? That friend might not be very cool. But what happens is that that friend gives you some great advice when you need help. Because some of us, the kind of friends we pick is that we're just picking friends, oh, this person is cool, they are known around in school. No, relationship is very important. Relationship is also very important in life planning, relationships. There's some, when you get into trouble in school, what kind of friends do you have? Now, if, you, if you're not able to pick the kind of friends you have when you're, in, when you're living as a teenager, when you're also 40 years old, you're not going to pick the right friends. You have to start thinking about quality relationships. If all you talk about are what happened on TikTok, you're, you're, when, once you have it, what happened on TikTok, have you fo are you following it? Who are you following? The person you're also following will determine when you get into trouble. The people you follow on Facebook, oh, sorry, uh, TikTok, Snapchat, and all of that. Is it TikTok or TikTok? I don't care. I'm not your generation. I really don't care. Whether it's TikTok or talk tick. I really don't care. <laughs> you guys are laughing at me. But, but, but I, I heard, you guys understand what I'm talking about, right? So it's actually, so you have to be, and then what about you? You also have to think about your life. I, maybe you're an influencer. People like you a lot. One thing you ask, people like me a lot, but am I adding value? Okay, I have my first daughter is very, uh, she's like me, she's like, hey, everywhere. So when she got, when she was in, um, 
in secondary school in Hillcrest. One day the teachers called me because the school is a Christian school and there is an Oibo school. They do this Oibo thing, they are so stiff. So the teacher called me once. They called me and told me to come to Joss, that they need to have a meeting with me. And I thought it was something important they wanted to talk about. When I came, they said, uh, Mrs. Anya Chebelo, we need you to please have a meeting with your daughter. Your daughter is so energetic and people like her, but we want her to be positive. Because the way she's energetic and people like her, if she influences the people negatively, we're going to throw her out of the school. I didn't believe it. They said, we're going to throw her out. That we've seen that because she came from Lagos and she was schooling in Joss. So she brought some of the Lagos vibes. So people liked her and were hanging out. They, they said they are warning me that I should better go and warn her that because so many people are following her, she must be a good example or they will throw her out. That is how important it is. So look at you. Many people follow you around. Then you ask yourself, am I adding value? Am I light? They follow me or do they follow me for me to teach them things that will not add value to their lives? It's important. So we're going to be looking at two people. The class video will be telling you two people. Two people you're going to submit. One is a man. The other one is a woman. Remember, do you know what this woman did? She saw something that nobody ever saw. And that is why today her name is included in the Bible. I don't want to let it out so that there can be people that can actually go and watch. It's about a, it's a 30 minutes video. This particular did, woman did something that nobody had ever done. And then she saw what other people did not do. You want to be an influencer. You want to be different in your generation. You must do something differently. You must do something separate from what they're all doing. You don't do what everybody does. And then do you know what she did? I'm not going to let it out. Because I want to be sure you all watch the video and then you get it. If you want, I've told you my own story. If you want to be different, you must separate. You must separate yourself from others. You must have a time of separation. This woman separated and she's phenomenal. So if you're looking at life planning, becoming different and becoming phenomenal, it's not about the Bible story. The Bible story is meant to actually draw strength and to now throw light into our own lives. Anytime you read the Bible and you just understand the story and you move on, I'm sorry, you did, God didn't talk to you. So you must say this story, what is in it for me? So I've been able to bring out juice from the story and I shared it in the video. You're going to be watching the, it's just a 13 minutes video, but I need to please be very calm because I put some homework and some hidden things right inside it. Relationship is very important. Separation is very important. So you're going to watch the class video now because this series is, this is the Easter 10. So everything we're going to be working around is people that lived and hung out with Jesus during his own life. But how will that affect you? And do you know the funny thing? These people just lived their normal life. They didn't know that their name was going to be written in history. The same way all of us here, all of you here, you're in Zoom class. I'm Taneka, I'm teaching. I'm not doing anything thinking my name will enter history. But you never know. You're not doing anything thinking your name will enter history. So it's important. Some of you in this class are going to college in August. Some of you are going to college by next year. Life out there is not easy. You have to know what are the kind of things I'm expected to face. What are the kind of things that I'm going to do to make me look different? So please, I'm going to leave you now so that you can go watch the class. But before we go, before, please, there are two Bible verses. You must read it. I didn't write it. I just said go and read. The people I talked about, go and find out their story in the Bible. Read it and then write it for me in your journal. Okay? Write it so that I'm sure you read it and then God will talk to you some more. Um, uh, what are you taking away from class? Isabella, what are you taking away from class? Isabella, what are you taking away from class right now? Okay. Um, do you know, number seven, um, Demi Lade, what are you taking away from class, Demi? I'm not sure. That's my life. That's um, we have you need some parts of the brain. Sorry, can you take that again? I didn't hear you. In order to be successful in life, you yes. have to make some sacrifices with relationships. God bless and you. That's enough. I love that strong word. You have to make sacrifices with relationships. Thank you. There are some people that you really like. You want to hang around them. But you know they are not adding value to you. You have to make that sacrifice. Thank you for that, for that strong word. You have to make sacrifices with some relationships. You really like them. But you know they end up getting you into trouble. You have to leave. Now, coming to sit in what center class will not add value to your life. What will add value to your life is what you do with what you heard. There are some people that in your school, they are not very cool. They are not very cool. They are not the cool guys and all of that. But do you know the funny thing? You know they have substance. You have to hang out with them. 
You have to have, like when I married, this is a joke. This is not a, this is a joke and not a joke. When I wanted to marry my husband, because I, I always like, you know, I'm always like, hey, I used to be very cool and I like all of that. My husband lived in the East. When he came to, the, when he came to Lagos, my husband was a bit not like, hey, all the cool guys. But when I looked at him, I said, ah, this guy has some serious substance inside of him. I said, if I marry this one, this one will not give me trouble. Though. All the ones I was dating, I said, if I marry those ones, those ones will put me in trouble. But I did, my husband, he didn't talk much. He didn't understand so many things about Lagos. He was a very cool guy. His parents were teachers. I said, ah, this one, this one is not cool. We will not be going to, we will not be all over Lagos. And this one will give, I had brain. And I married him and he gave me rest. But then I was dating some other people. That were very high. If you see them, hey, they were all over. If I married those people today, I don't know what would have happened to me. So sacrifice. Sacrifice is very important. You might have some people that are in your school that are not very cool, but you know they are very smart. You know they get you out of trouble. You know that when you need help with some things, they can help you. You have to hang around them. Don't just hang around people that are like, oh, these ones are cool. I want to be seen around them. Let people know that we're no, you are stupid. I'm sorry to use the word. The word I should have to use is foolish. It's in the Bible. Foolish! After this class, nobody should be foolish. After this class, nobody should be foolish in choosing relationships. You have to make sacrifices. And then you remind yourself that this might not pay, but in the long run, it's going to pay. Thank you so much. I love the word sacrifice. It's very important. Very important. No foolishness. Why are we in this class? We don't want to act foolishly. We want to start acting differently. And then people see you and they're like, oh my God, how come you never get into trouble? Because you, were, you, because you chose the right friends. Remember again, I'm going to be leaving you soon for you to watch the class video. Something I said, write out the names of 10 people that are your friends. 10. Then if you have more than 10 friends, if you have 15, write down their names. If they are very close, very close. Now I want you to write it based on your relationship with a very close friend, not very close acquaintances. Then you now write value adding 70, value adding 30. Always put them into trouble 100%. Just grade them, grade the friends you have. Some of them you might have to give up after today. If we don't do this, if just for us to hear this and walk away, it's not going to add value. It's not going to add value. It's very relationship. Relationship is important. It's important. Thank you, uh, Demi Lade. That was very strong. Sacrifices. Is there anybody? What are you taking away from class? Who else wants to say something that they're taking away from class? Yes, so me, so me see, talk to me. Yes, so me see. Yes, what are you taking away from class? What I took from the class was to be exceptional. We need to separate ourselves from other God bless you. And do things, God bless you, separation. That's coming from the second video. The, uh, so from the second woman, separation. If you're on TikTok, you guys are laughing. 24 hours you're on TikTok and from TikTok. Some of you, you say, no, Teneka, I, we're so busy. I've not had time to read the Bible. But you've had time to finish Coming to America Part 2. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How many of you have read Coming to America? Have seen Coming to America Part 2? How many people have seen it? How many people have seen it? I uh -huh. <laughs> so I there is no time to read the Bible, but you have time to watch coming to America, and it just came out. Separate. You have to separate. Thank you so much, some say. You have to, if you want to be exceptional. Remember everything I teach you are the things that I do. You know I don't just tell you the Bible. God said these are things that have worked for me. It's very important. Thank you, some say. Any other person that has something they are taking away from class so you can share, so we can close now and watch the class video. Yes, Sharon. Thank you, Sharon. Yes, Sharon. Um, we should be careful of what, like, how we influence others. Good. What impact mm. are you Fantastic. Thank you. How many of you? Thank you. How many of you? You think you're an influencer? People just, people just come. People, people like you. And they come to you naturally. You have a lot of friends. They just, people just come to you, like, you are, you are. Okay. Yes. How many people in class? Yes. People just come around you and friends. You have to think about it. If you are someone that people like a lot, you have to think about That means you're a leadership. That means you're a leader. You have to think about your life. How do I influence the people that are around me? Jemima, what are you taking away from class? Um, I think what you learned today is just to follow God. Like, not question Him. So if He tells you to do something, um, okay. you never know 
where I will take you in the next 10 years or 5 years. Fantastic. Okay, you got that from the world immersion, right? Okay, and then to wrap that up, um, to wrap that up would be like, uh, you could actually want a school badly. And then God is telling you that you're, this is not the school he wants you to go. You know it happens. And then you're, God, this is the school I want. All my friends are here. When I get to this school, everybody will say, well, I'm so smart. You just, and God is saying he doesn't want to then. Do you understand? So, because you don't know what is going to happen, follow. Like there was a boy that got into my daughter's school. Uh, everybody was so excited and all of that. The boy died three months after he got into that school. Three months. He died. He committed suicide in one of the gorges and died. So, and people would have said, oh my God, he got into an Ivy League school. They would have been so, they would have been, oh, because Kona has so many gorges. And that was why when I was in praying, when my daughter was going to that school, I was praying, I said, God, if you don't want her to go to this school, please, do I want this school badly? Please, just show me. So thank you, thank you, uh, uh, Jemima, for reminding us that. There are some things you might want desperately, but God doesn't want it. Remember, God has, always has a final plan for you. And God's plan may not look very cool and may not look very attractive, but in the long run, in the long run, in the long run, you don't know what it's trying to take, uh, take you away from. Any other person here that wants to share what they got this morning? Thank you so much for these contributions. They're actually very helpful. Somebody else, um, I'm going to call names if nobody wants um, to. Morning, Chaneka. Morning, darling. Yes. I'm sorry, I joined in late. I, I, I missed up the time. I joined by 10. Oh no, you remember we said. Miss I give me a summary. Okay, we have a video. Don't worry, we have a video that we're recording for somebody that is taking Wayek, uh, whose parents say she can't join. We'll, we'll send you the video, okay? Not a problem. Okay, um, um, if I die, what are you taking away from class? If I. Uh, no, I like the way we're using like long run because our future is not known. Only God knows our future. So if people are trying to deter us from the path that he has uh, created for us, mm -hmm. um, in the long run, we don't know what's going to happen. We mm -hmm. don't need him. So even if the future looks dreary, mm -hmm. we should keep on uh, going and um, persevere because it's the long run. The long run. Fantastic. God bless you. Um, Ajibola Peters, what are you taking away from class? That's since um God is to if one who knows exactly path you're going to take and mm -hmm. what's happening in the future. Mm -hmm. We should we should be more focused on connecting to him than being things about ourselves. Fantastic. There are some things that we have to do continuously, but mm. that you have to do to so. Thank you, God bless. So now what I want everybody to do, I'm gonna be sitting here <laughs> because now I'm ready for you guys. Write down in your journal everything you learned. I'm sitting here. I'm gonna be giving you prompts so that you don't forget. Please bring out your journal. Bring out your journal. And please, if you can remember anything, that would be fantastic. Maybe a prompt. Please type it in so that others can also write. Okay, if you can remember a prompt, type it in so that others can. Because the whole idea is that you're not a machine. You're gonna forget all of these things by the time we leave this place. If you don't write it down, then on Saturday, when we, on Wednesday, when we say revisit your journal, you can't revisit anything because there's nothing new. You didn't write down anything. So please, if you can remember a strong prompt, of something that we learned today please just put it here so that we can write so please write this down if you're new we're happy to have you please just write down any major thing you learned in your journal
Liar day, yes. I can see your question, yes. Liar day, I can see your question. Yes, do that. Okay, ma. Thank you, ma. Yes, sorry, I'm just seeing it now. Sorry? Oh yeah, have you sent a video to them? Have you sent the class video? Yes, but I need it because I want to see your journals. That's why, because sometimes when I read your journals, it breaks my heart. Some people write two sentences and I'm like, how are you going to remember everything we talked about? Look at me. Do you know that most times I have to, you're going to, you're going to see it in the class video. When I finish a session, maybe like I, I went to church or somewhere and they taught, I sit down to think about everything and I read and I write and I read. That's the only way I can remember. So I'm not uh, in a hurry for you guys to go watch the class video now. I want to finish writing all of this so that I'm sure you have it in your journal, okay? So have you written down everything you learned? Have you done that? Have you done that? Okay. So if we've done that, have you sent the class teaching video? The video to what for? Yes, yeah, so the class teaching video is okay. The, the class teaching video has been sent uh, to the match group one in match So you can go and um, I hope you guys um, got something from class, right? You guys, you did, right? And tomorrow is Mother's Day. Tomorrow is Mother's Day. Can you please take your time to do something phenomenal for your mother? Write something sweet. I mean, it's not every parent that is so involved. They can take you to great schools and all of that. But if you have a mother that is making sure that you stay connected to God, when you're 40, you're going to remember and you're going to love them. When you're 30, when you're 26. So please, I want you to just write something. And I'm going to call uh, Miss Mila, a text family. She's going to be the one to call up the parents of people in work three and work four. I'm going to, we're going to call up your parents to know if you sent them a note. Write them something sweet. That mom, I want to say thank you. They gave you two lives. They gave birth to you physically. Now they're also giving back to birth to you spiritually. So they've done everything they, they can do for you on earth. I don't want to take that lightly. So many of the children that you see on road on the streets, the ones that are taking drugs, the ones that go abroad and they take drugs and their lives are messed up. 
It's because their parents didn't know better. They didn't know some of the things they would have done for them. And your parents are here preparing you spiritually, just the way they're also preparing you physically. So they've given you all that they can by making sure that they're giving you the secular education, the best things on, uh, in life, and also giving you the best in the spiritual realm. So please take your time to appreciate your mother's tomorrow. Take your time. It's very important. Ma, should we send what we wrote to you? Um, no, it's for your mom. Okay? It's for your mom. It's for you. I remember once my children sent me one note and they did me a song. I, I was crying while I was watching because I didn't know how much I've done for them when they did all of that. I just felt I was just being a, a good mom. Not a, just a mom, but they took their time and they did a song and it was so beautiful. Those are the little things that touches our parents and that makes them happy and that makes them just praise God for having good children. So take your time. What we're going to do is that we're going to call them up to know if you guys sent it to them. And then if they want to share it with us, fine. So please, um, who is going to do that? Can I, can, Miss Miller, please zoom in to everybody. Who is going to do that? I don't want us giving courage. Are you going to do that? Your hand is not up. Who is going to do that? Tomorrow is Mother's Day. So start thinking now for what you're going to do for them. Tomorrow is Mother's Day. Please, just appreciate them and love them. And the Bible says when you honor your father and your mother, that um, your days are going to be long. As you keep loving them and showing them love, they're going to do more. They're going to pray for you. They're going to do more. They're going to pray for you. I mean, they pay school fees, they do all of that. You know, it's not easy. They could use all the money for the school fees to buy gold and to buy all of those things. So I want you to guys to take it seriously, okay? Okay, bye. So I'm leaving you guys now. So go watch the class video. And please make sure that you're not distracted where you are so that you can get the questions embedded inside of it, okay? God bless you. Bye, guys. See you next week. Bye. 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 B